Hello students, in the previous session we studied about the distance formula and the section formula in three dimensional space. Here we shall look into some more interesting problems about the section formula. Find the ratio in which the join of point A 2 comma 1 comma 5 and B 3 comma 4 comma 3 is divided by the plane. 2x plus 2y minus 2z is equal to 1. Also find the coordinates of the point of division. Now look into the solution. Suppose the plane 2x plus 2y minus 2z is equal to 1 divides the line joining the points a 2 comma 1 comma 5 and b 3 comma 4 comma 3 at a point c in the ratio of k is to 1. Then the coordinates of c are 3 k plus 2 upon k plus 1 comma 4 k plus 1 upon k plus 1 comma 3 k plus 5 upon k plus 1. Take this expression as first expression. Since point c lies on the plane 2 x plus 2 y minus 2 z is equal to 1. Therefore, coordinates of c must satisfy the equation of the plane that is 2 into 3 k plus 2 upon k plus 1 plus 2 into 4 k plus 1 upon k plus 1 minus 2 into 3 k plus 5 upon k plus 1 is equal to 1 which on solving gives us 8 k minus 4 is equal to k plus 1 that is 7 k is equal to 5 or k is equal to 5 upon 7. So, the required ratio is 5 upon 7 is to 1 or 5 is to 7. Putting k is equal to 5 upon 7 in first expression the coordinates of the point c of division are 29 upon 12 comma 9 upon 4 comma 25 upon 6. Let us look into one more interesting example here. Vertices of a parallelogram A, B, C, D are A 3 comma minus 1 comma 2, B 1 comma 2 comma minus 4 and C minus 1 comma 1 comma 2. Find the coordinates of the fourth vertex. Look into the solution here. Let the coordinates of the fourth vertex d be x comma y comma z. Since diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, the midpoints of diagonals namely AC and BD should coincide. So, 3 minus 1 upon 2 comma minus 1 plus 1 upon 2 comma 2 plus 2 upon 2 will be equal to 1 plus x upon 2 comma 2 plus y upon 2 comma minus 4 plus z upon 2. Now what we do is we equate the coordinates of x, y and z respectively. We have here 1 comma 0 comma 2 that is equal to x plus 1 upon 2 y plus 2 upon 2 and z minus 4 upon 2. On equating we have here x plus 1 upon 2 is equal to 1, y plus 2 upon 2 is equal to 0, z minus 4 upon 2 is equal to 2 which on solving gives us the value of x as 1, y is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to 8. Hence, the coordinates of the fourth vertex are 1 comma minus 2 comma 8. We have one more example here. If the origin is the centroid of the triangle with vertices P 2A comma 2 comma 6, 
q minus 4 comma 3 b comma minus 10 and r 8 comma 14 comma 2 c find the values of a b and c. As we know what is a centroid? It is a point where all the three medians of a triangle meet. So, the coordinates of the centroid of a triangle p q r are 2 a minus 4 plus 8 upon 3 comma 2 plus 3 b plus 14 upon 3 comma 6 minus 10 plus 2 c upon 3 that is 2 a plus 4 upon 3 comma 3 b plus 16 upon 3 comma 2 c minus 4 upon 3. It is given that the origin is the centroid of the triangle p q r. So, what do we do here? We equate the coordinates of x, y and z and we get 2 a plus 4 is equal to 0, 16 plus 3 b also is equal to 0 and 2 c minus 4 is equal to 0, which on solving gives us the value of a as negative 2, b as minus 16 upon 3 and c is equal to 2. Let us look into one more example here. Find the lengths of the medians of the triangle with vertices A 0 comma 0 comma 6, B 0 comma 4 comma 0 and C 6 comma 0 comma 0. Let D, E and F be the midpoints of the sides B, C, C, A and A, B respectively. As we know, the medians divide the side on which they fall. So, the coordinates of D, E and F can be found out by using the formula x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2 and z1 plus z2 upon 2. So, point D can be calculated as 0 plus 6 upon 2 comma 4 plus 0 upon 2 comma 0 plus 0 upon 2 that is equal to 3 comma 2 comma 0. Similarly, we can calculate the coordinates of point E as 6 plus 0 upon 2 comma 0 plus 0 upon 2 comma 0 plus 6 upon 2 that gives us 3 comma 0 comma 3 and the coordinates of point F can be calculated in a similar manner as 0 plus 0 upon 2 comma 0 plus 4 upon 2 comma 6 plus 0 upon 2 that is equal to 0 comma 2 comma 3 respectively. You can see in the figure the triangle with points A, B and C and also with the midpoints as D, E and F. Now, we also will calculate the length of the medians namely AD using distance formula that is square root of 0 minus 3 whole square plus 0 minus 2 whole square plus 6 minus 0 whole square that is equal to square root of 9 plus 4 plus 36 is equal to 7. Same way B e is equal to square root of 0 minus 3 whole square plus 4 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus 3 whole square which on simplifying gives us square root of 9 plus 16 plus 9 that is equal to square root of 34. Same way the length of median C f can be calculated as square root of 6 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 3 whole square which gives us square root of 36 plus 4 plus 9 that is equal to 7. Now, we have an example here given that P 3 comma 2 comma minus 4 Q 5 comma 4 comma minus 6 and R 9 comma 8 comma minus 10 are collinear find the ratio in which Q divides P R. 
look into the solution here. Suppose q divides p r in the ratio k is to 1, then coordinates of q are given by 9 k plus 3 upon k plus 1, comma 8 k plus 2 upon k plus 1, comma minus 10 k minus 4 upon k plus 1. But coordinates of q are 5 comma 4 comma minus 6. Therefore, they can be equated as 9 k plus 3 upon k plus 1 is equal to 5, 8 k plus 2 upon k plus 1 is equal to 4 and minus 10 minus 4 upon k plus 1 is equal to 6. These three equations give k is equal to 1 upon 2. So, q divides p r in the ratio 1 upon 2 is to 1 or 1 is to 2. Another example here, a point r with x coordinate 4 lies on the line segment joining the points p 2 comma minus 3 comma 4 and q 8 comma 0 comma 10. Find the coordinates of the point r. Suppose r divides p q in the ratio k is to 1, then the coordinates of r are given by 8 k plus 2 upon k plus 1 minus 3 upon k plus 1 and 10 k plus 4 upon k plus 1. Since x coordinate of r is 4, we can equate the x coordinate 8 k plus 2 upon k plus 1 is equal to 4, which on cross multiplication gives 8 k plus 2 is equal to 4 k plus 4. Now, collecting like terms, we have 8 k minus 4 k is equal to 4 minus 2 which on simplification gives us 4 k is equal to 2 or k is equal to 1 upon 2. Look into one more example. Let P and Q be any two points. Find coordinates of the point R which divides P Q externally in the ratio 2 is to 1 and verify that Q is the midpoint of P R. Let the coordinates of the point be p x 1 comma y 1 comma z 1 and q x 2 comma y 2 comma z 2. Then the coordinates of point r which divides p q externally in the ratio 2 is to 1 are 2 x 2 minus x 1 upon 2 minus 1 comma 2 y 2 minus y 1 upon 2 minus 1 comma 2 z 2 minus z 1 upon 2 minus 1 that is equal to 2 x 2 minus x 1 comma 2 y 2 minus y 1 comma 2 z 2 minus z 1. The coordinates of the midpoint of P r are x 1 plus 2 x 2 minus x 1 upon 2 comma 2 y 2 minus y 1 plus y 1 upon 2 comma 2 z 2 minus z 1 plus z 1 upon 2 that can be simplified as x2 comma y2 comma z2. Clearly, these are the coordinates of point Q. Hence, Q is the midpoint of P r. So, let us summarize the chapter of three dimensional coordinate geometry as in three dimensions, the coordinate axis of a rectangular Cartesian coordinate system are three mutually perpendicular lines. These axes are called the x, y and z axis. The three planes determined by the pair of axes are the coordinate planes. These planes are called x, y, y, z and z, x planes and they divide the space into eight regions known as octants. The coordinates of a point P in the space are the perpendicular distances from P on three mutually perpendicular coordinate planes y z, z x and x y respectively. The coordinates of a point P are written in the form of triplet like x comma y comma z. The coordinates of a point are also the distances from the origin 
of the feet of the perpendicular from the point on the respective coordinate axis. The coordinates of any point on x axis are of the form x comma 0 comma 0. The coordinates of any point similarly on y axis can be in the form 0 comma y comma 0. On z axis it will be in the form 0 comma 0 comma z and the coordinates of any point on x y plane are of the form x comma y comma 0. Similarly, the coordinates of any point on y z plane are of the form 0 comma y comma z and the coordinates of any point on z x plane are of the form x comma 0 comma z. Also, the distances between two points p x 1 comma y 1 comma z 1 and q x 2 comma y 2 comma z 2 is given by the formula p q is equal to square root of x 2 minus x 1 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1 whole square plus z 2 minus z 1 whole square. The distance of a point p x comma y comma z from the origin o that is 0 comma 0 comma 0 is given by the formula O p is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square. The coordinates of a point r which divides the line segment joining two points namely p x 1 comma y 1 comma z 1 and q x 2 comma y 2 comma z 2 internally and externally in the ratio m is to n are given by the formulae m x 2 plus n x 1 upon m plus n comma m y 2 plus n y 1 upon m plus n comma m z 2 plus n z 1 upon m plus n and m x 2 minus n x 1 upon m minus n comma m y 2 minus n y 1 upon m minus n comma m z 2 minus n z 1 upon m minus n. The coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment joining two points x 1 comma y 1 comma z 1 and x 2 comma y 2 comma z 2 are given by x 1 plus x 2 upon 2 comma y 1 plus y 2 upon 2 comma z 1 plus z 2 upon 2 and the coordinates of the centroid of the triangle whose vertices are x 1 comma y 1 comma z 1 x 2 comma y 2 comma z 2 and x 3 comma y 3 comma z 3 are given by x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 upon 3 comma y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 upon 3 comma z 1 plus z 2 plus z 3 upon 3. So, students hope you enjoyed studying the chapter 3 dimensional space, location of a point in 3 dimensional space and the distance formula with the section formula. Thank you. Thank you.